Welcome to French King Entertainment Center okay, in gentlemen. Irving, Massachusetts for this Western New England Candlepin Association Pro Tour okay, event. We're in the first round of stepladder match play. And the two bowlers in this match are Stephen Reno Jr. and Richie Myrick. Stephen is on lane 13 and Richie is going to start off on lane 14. In the five string qualifying round, Stephen Reno Jr. qualified fifth with 629 and Richie Myrick had 637. The third place qualifier was Ed Tringali with 640. Rich Bober is the second seed with 646 and the top seed is last year's bowler of the year Dave Dupuy with 671. On the bottom of the screen you can see the other bowlers who competed in this event and what their scores were in qualifying. So Richie don't starts off with a 10 and Stephen Reno Jr. starts off with a 7 box. Rich Myrick bowls out of canal lanes in Southampton and Stephen Reno bowls out of bogey lanes in East Brookfield. And also I think Colonial in Worcester. Richie Myrick is a member of the Crazy Train team in the World Team Championships and Stephen Reno bowls for Extreme TNT. Richie with a nice bid there on the 12479 but uh, not quite able to make it. He does get a 10 box and Steve Reno, Stephen Reno Jr. matches him with a 10 so it's a three pin lead for Richie Myrick, 20 to 17 after two frames. Rich Myrick punches through the head pin, punches through the middle, leaving the two, three, six, ten. Piece of wood behind and to the left of the two, but it's probably not going to come into play. Meanwhile, Stephen Reno with a light hit on the head pin. He's got the 3, 7, and 9. There's some wood that he might be able to use. And he tries it, but he caught a little bit too much of the wood and not quite enough of the 3 pin, so both guys are going to be open here in the third. Rich with an 8 box. Steven with a 9, so Rich Myrick leads by 2 after 3 frames. As I'm sure you know, both of these guys are past winners of Western New England Tour events. They're regulars in the match play segments. Richie Myrick with a nice bid on that spare lead, but once again, one pin stands. It's the four pin. It wouldn't go. So both guys are going to be open through the first four. Ten box for Rich Myrick. And a ten for Steven. So Steven Reno Jr. So Richie Myrick still leads through, uh, 38 to 36 after four. Richie misses the head pin to the right. Ends up with a makeable spare, but not necessarily an easy one. He's got the 1479 with some wood to the left of the head pin and a plank in front of the 47. And Stephen Reno just Jr. just has the 7 pin. Wow, and that's a nice bid by Richie, but the 7 refuses to go. And Stephen Reno picks up the 7 for a spare. Richie Myrick with a 10. So as the bowlers switch sides, 
we will take a look at the scoreboard. Steven Reno Jr. goes over to lane 14 and Rich Myrick goes to lane 13. And you can see that Richie has a two pin lead for the moment, 48 to 46, but Steven Reno Jr. has a spare to fill in the fifth. So he should be able to take the lead with this fill. And he does, he's got six. So that gives him a four pin lead, 52 to 48 through five. Richie Meyer punches out the half, Worcester left. And a nice bid there by Steven Reno Jr. on that 1, 2, 7, 10. But the head pin went right around the 10 pin. Steven Reno Jr. was second last year in the Bowler of the Year standings to eventual Bowler of the Year Dave Dupuis. He takes a 10 in the 6th, as does... Rich Myrick. So it's still a four pin lead for Steven Reno Jr. Steven Reno Jr. drops nine, leaving the eight pin with some lumber out in front of it. Rich Myrick with a nice head pin hit in the one two pocket leaving the 5-8-9 triangle as Steven Reno converts the spare. Let's see what Richie can do with this triangle. And he just goes by the 5-pin, taking out the 8. So he'll be open in the 7th. It'll be a 9 box. Steven Reno Jr. with an 8 on the spare. That gives him 80 through 7 to 67 for Rich Myrick. Rich with a 5 drop leaving the 4 horsemen right plus the 7 pin. That's a pretty tough spare. Steven Reno with the spare in the 8th. And a nice try by Richie Myrick. He just Hit that shot perfectly, really, but for one reason or another, the 10 pin didn't go. And he'll take a 9, so. Steven Reno Jr. has a lead of 14 plus whatever he puts on the fill. And he's got 8, giving him a 22 pin lead, 98 to 76 through 8. Rich Myrick dropping six, leaving the one, two, four, ten. And Steven Reno Jr. catches the three pin, but the uh, six doesn't go, so he'll be open in the ninth. And there is another excellent try by Richie Myrick. He can't seem to buy a break in this game. And he takes a, I think that went in the gutter, so that's a nine box. So with one box to go, it's 108 to 85 for Steven Reno Jr. Unless Richie Myrick throws a double, Steven Reno Jr. will move on. As I mentioned, the next in line is the number three seed, Ed Tringali. That's, uh, he's going to be Steven Reno's opponent in the next round. Steven finishes with a 9 for a 117 game, and Richie Myrick with a 9 for a uh, 94 game. So you can see 117 to 94 is the final score in this match, and Steven Reno Jr. moves on to face Ed Tringali in the next round.